Hey and welcome. It happens to a lot of us. It happens to everyone, I would say. Once in a while you just get overwhelmed and things are just too much and you are too much in your head. The thoughts are going in circles and they're going crazy in your head. And of course the practice helps to establish this very calm foundation with lots of peace, love and happiness. But if you find yourself in a moment or situation where it's just too much and you're feeling overwhelmed, then this pranayama and breathwork technique I will share with you today might help you. It's a very quick one, it only takes one minute and it is based on Brahmari pranayama, also known as the humming bee sound or humming bee breathwork. And traditionally in this one, although there are many variations, you use your thumbs to close your ears. You're putting the thumbs onto the outside part of the ear, the tragus, and you're pushing that down. And then you place your fingers on your face. So the index finger on either the forehead or the eyes, then the middle finger kind of next to your nose, the ring finger on your lips and the pinky finger on your chin, something like this. So this is the traditional version of Brahmari. And then you push the ears down or close the ears, take a deep breath in and you make like a humming bee sound on your exhale. Let's try one more together. <laughs> This probably looks pretty funny for you seeing me with all my fingers in my face, but let's try one more together just so that you get a feeling. Try to do the humming sound and the vibration in the tip of your nose. One more together. Perfect. So this is the traditional Brahmari Pranayama hummingbird or humming bee sound. And uh, you can do this anytime throughout the day or in any situation where you feel overwhelmed or it's just getting too much and you're too much in your head. I recommend doing five to 10 breaths like this or five to 10 rounds uh, of the traditional version. You can also do a modification of this one, which I like to do or I like to teach to my students and in classes. And that is basically the same thing, but you're not touching your, your head or your face anywhere. You can place your hands wherever it's comfortable, maybe on your lap or um, on your knees. You take a deep breath in through the nose, same as with Brahmari, the traditional one. And then you exhale, you do that humming sound. Depending what pitch you want, you might get a different effect, like a higher mm, or a lower mm. So it really depends what you want and also what feels good. It's good to explore and play around with this and then continue with that one pitch and sound that works for you. You can also do different sounds. For example, you can do some kind of um, tone like ah, uh, or o, oh, e, whatever you want, but keep the lips sealed. You can also do the mantra om and just chant om with the lips sealed. I want to remind you to really focus on the vibration of that sound that you make especially feeling the vibration in your spine. Usually it starts with the vibration in your head and also the tip of your nose. That's what they focus on in traditional Brahmari Pranayama. But I really like the effects of feeling the vibration of the sound in the spine. So let's do five breaths and five rounds together. And you can then continue doing more or try out different sounds or pitches or whatever you want to do, okay? So get a comfortable seat, sit tall, close your eyes and we keep the lips sealed the whole time. Take a deep breath in through the nose on your exhale, make your sound nice and slow.
Very good, welcome back. So this was just five breaths and because we breathe slow, so slow when we take a breath in, it's a lot longer than the usual inhale we take throughout the day. And because the exhale is also so slow, those five breaths equal to about one minute. And that's really all you need to calm down, to let go of that pressure, that stress, that voice in your head that got a little bit too much for you. One minute is all you need. So you can either do five of those breaths or you just set a timer for one minute on your phone or on your watch and then just do this exercise for five breaths. Because maybe you're still breathing faster than five breaths equaling one minute so you just go for one minute in that case they say that you take about 10 or 15 to 20 breaths a minute which means if you're breathing this fast then you're that you're pretty stressed out although they say it's normal it's actually pretty uh, fast and a pretty high rate of breathing so by breathing slower and slowing the breath down you also reduce your stress levels and the voice in your head and you calm down this is why this practice is so effective because you're basically coming down to five breaths in one minute, five, six, maybe seven breaths a minute. So you're really slowing down everything and hopefully you now feel relaxed and calm and a little bit more restored so that you can continue with your day. Thank you so much for practicing with me today and trying this out. I hope you can integrate that into your day. Again, you can use it anytime throughout the day when you need it. Thanks so much for being here with me and I'll see you in the next one. Namaste.